Welcome to our lecture online. Now here is our next problem, which is again a little bit challenging. It says here that Linda wants to double the size of her rectangular flower garden by adding a strip of equal width to all four sides. How wide must the strip be if the original size is 20 meters by 30 meters? Hmm, that's a large flower garden, but she wants to make it larger. How do we do this problem? Well, first let's draw it so we can get a feel for it. So here we have her original flower garden. And now she wants to make it bigger by adding a strip on all sides of equal width. So you can see that if we add a strip here and here and here and here, we now have a larger flower garden. We're told that the length of the original length was 30 meters and the original length uh, width was 20 meters and so now we're going to add a strip of an unknown width so let's call let x equal the width of the strip so that means that the width from there to there would be x and the width from here to here would be x the same on this side and the same on this side so now we have a new rectangle the length of the new rectangle would be equal to 30 plus 2 times x. And the width of the new rectangle would be equal to 20 plus 2 times x. And so therefore the area of the new rectangle, the area, would be equal to the length times the width, which would be equal to 30 plus 2x and multiply that times 20 plus 2 2x. So that would be the area of the new rectangle. And we know that that would be twice, because we're looking to double the size, that has to be twice the original. Okay, that means that the area of the new rectangle is equal to twice the area of the old rectangle. So the new rectangle is right there, that's the area of the new one. So we can say that the product 30 plus 2x times 20 plus 2x must equal to 2 times the area of the old one, which would be 20 times 30. So that would be the area of the old one, and that would be twice the area of the old one. All right, now we have to solve this for x. So let's go ahead and multiply everything together. So we have 30 times 20, 30 times 2x, 2x times 20, 2x times 2x. So th this gives us 600 plus 60x plus 40x plus 4x squared is equal to 600 times 2, which is 1,200. Looks like a quadratic equation, so let's gather all the common terms. So we have a 4x squared. 60x plus 40x, that would be plus 100x. And that would be plus 600 equals 1200 so now we move the 1200 to the left side subtract 1200 from both sides so we get 4x squared plus 100x minus 600 equals zero and notice we can divide both sides by four so we get x squared plus 25x minus 150 equals zero and that we have to factor okay let's see here we can factor that on the left side, we get x and x. Notice we have a negative here and a positive there. Hmm, that means that one must be positive and one must be negative. Negative and positive, and the difference between them must be 25. Okay, so 30 times 5, if I make this a plus 30 and a negative 5, 5 times 30, or negative 5 times 30 gives me minus 150. And negative 5 plus 30 gives me positive 25. I knew that the numbers had to differ by 25 and that the product had to be negative 150. So when I have two binomials multiplied together that equals 0, that means either one or the other is equal to 0, which means that x minus 5 must equal 0 or x plus 30 must equal 0. In the first case, we have x equals 5. And in the second case, we have x equals negative 30. Now, negative 30 is not a good option because you can't add a negative 30 meters to each side. 
So that's not a good valid option. This would be the valid option. In other words, if we add a strip five meters on each side, we then will double Lunas Garden, and that is how it's done.